this is a EMP system EMP blaster gun 2 this can generate a EMP pulse of 180 kilovolts with a fast rise time of typically less than 5 nanoseconds this is the control panel which consists of a variable kilovolt knob one can turn this clockwise and the voltage will go up this is the high voltage on off switch this is the power on off and high voltage on once high voltage is switched on then one can slowly vary the voltage and we can see the voltage will go up this is the trigger mechanism which is optional best results are obtained while directly firing the system without trigger the entire system is enclosed in a SS Austentic stainless steel 304 capsule consisting of the power supply this is a 20 kV DC negative power supply high voltage connections which consist of standard HVC 60 perforated connectors with XLP cable connected through grounding bars over here and the entire system is connected to an impulse generator with open-ended testing of 200 kilovolts and loaded 180 kV. The entire system has got a coupling area where one can optionally put resistor or capacity coupling also if necessary. This is an ultra low inductance capacitor which consists of a capacitor which is 125 picofarad consists of castor oil with dielectric constant of 4.5 and can withstand 200 kV pulse. This is the high pressure front end peaking gap which does the pulse compression. An incoming pulse of 46 nanoseconds is compressed to less than 5 nanoseconds. Then there is this is the end. Of course, this antenna is a makeshift arrangement which has been done with a termination over here of approximately 500 ohms. A non-inductive carborundum bulk resistor is being used for doing this. After this setup has been done, there is a gap you can see over here established of approximately 3 meters between the system and an oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is typically a Tektronics oscilloscope which is kept at a distance of 3 meters distance. To give you an overall view, the setup is as follows. The entire system being on a trolley. Now we shall fire the system and show what happens at a distance of 3 meters. Effect can be also much higher distances considering the higher voltages employed. First, we will switch on the high voltage then slowly go up in the voltage at approximately 18 kilovolts that is 180 kilovolts output we are at about 5 kV 7.5 kV it's fired now we did not see what happened to the oscilloscope we will now take you to the oscilloscope area and show you what happens over there when the pulse comes in. The oscilloscope is regaining from this event and it is trying to restructure its processor inside. Please note the oscilloscope is run through a UPS which is not connected to the main line. Here we have the oscilloscope you can see the oscilloscope is regained and the oscilloscope is run on an individual UPS. 
which is not connected to the line hence it is not a conductive energy now we will fire please fire yeah this is fired at just 7.5 kv to 8 kv which means 80 kv output the oscilloscope is again regaining this is the standard tbs 1202b oscilloscope 200 megahertz please note the distance clearly shows it is a distance of 3 meters between the system and its radiated antenna now we will fire from this side the pulse showing you what happens to the oscilloscope we will go back to the oscilloscope fire yeah this is to ensure that the oscilloscope has been fired and 